Director for Deadwood History, and we are here today with Laura Floyd. She is an archaeologist that lives here in Deadwood, and she's going to teach us all about archaeology and stratigraphy through this really fun and unique activity involving what? Cake! Cake! Uh, so I'm going to let her get started, and she's going to tell you all about archaeology. Laura? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so... We started the lesson today with a couple of really big words that Amanda mentioned, archaeology and stratigraphy. So what are those things? Archaeology is the study of human history by looking at the things people leave behind. And that can be lots of things. It can be buildings. It can be things. And what happens to these things after a long time passes? Where do archaeologists look for human history? They dig for it in the ground. So today, we're going to find out how things wind up in the ground and what you can learn from the way you see them in the ground. And that's going to be stratigraphy. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that word later. But to start with, we're going to imagine that we are going way, way, way back in time. A long, long time ago in the world of cake. So we're in cake land and we're in a beautiful green field here. In the middle of the field, you see this incredible structure. This is a castle made out of stones. Now, you have to use your imaginations a little bit because you can't see it, but over on this side of the green field, we have a tall mountain. And on this side of the green river, no, it's a green field, we have a winding river that goes this way. Back here behind me, there's a big desert full of sand. So this is a really interesting place. And that's what the gummy people were thinking when they decided to build their castle. That's who lives in the land of cake, are the gummy people. So, one day, the gummy people are minding their own business in their castle, and a terrible earthquake starts. And the castle fell down! Oh no! So to make matters worse, after this terrible earthquake, it started to rain. And it rained and rained and rained. And what happens to a river when it rains and rains and rains? The water comes up and you have a horrible flood. And I don't know if any of you have ever seen a flood before, but when the water goes away again, is everything nice and clean? It leaves behind mud and muck and junk and everything is dirty and blue. And the castle gets buried. So some time passes, and eventually the floodwaters recede, and the gummy people come back. And they look around and they say, hmm, it's not very good right here right now, but we need some place to stay for a while. So they set up a little camp, spend some time in the floodplain, and also they had their animals with them. Now, when animals hang out with people, what do animals do? They poop. And that's something that they leave behind that can tell us about the kinds of animals the gummy people were raising. So the gummy people stayed for a little while, and then they moved along. And it's a good thing they moved along, because one day another storm started brewing. This time it wasn't rain, it was lightning. And what happens when there's lightning in a spot? Sometimes it can start a fire. And the whole field where the animals and the gummy people were living caught on fire. And when a fire happens, it doesn't leave behind a nice clean place either. It burns up all of the plants, sometimes the trees, if there are any buildings left behind, and it leaves behind ash and burned logs and a whole new layer of stuff from behind it. Now after a forest fire, one of the nice things is that the ash and all the things that it leaves behind makes the land really good for farming. What happens when you have land that's good for farming? Your gummy people come back and they look around and they say, wow, I think this might be a nice place to live for a little while. So they set up their little village and they decide that they better keep track of their animals. And when you need to stay in one place for a long time and keep your animals, it's always a good idea to build a fence so that the animals won't escape. 
So the gummy bears used some rocks that they found laying around. Do you recognize these rocks? And built a very nice fence where their animals can live. Do you remember what animals do when they stay in one place for a long time? They poop. And the poop can build up. If they live in one place for a long time, there can be so much of it that it creates its own layer of dirt. And the gummy people were happy. And they lived and they watched their animals. Except sometimes bad things happen to gummy people. And this guy was out having a nice day, but he got in an accident. So one day, this guy was out and he had a bad accident, and he died. Bloop! And his friend said, oh no, what are we going to do? Well, because it was the custom of these gummy bears, they decided we had better bury him. So they dug a grave down through the ash, you remember what that blue cake was? Down through the muck left behind by the flood. And they took their little friend and they buried him. And then they had to cover him back up. And because it was the custom of the gummy people, they took a stone to mark the place where he was buried. But if you remember, this is a land with rivers and mountains big desert back here where sometimes strange things happen like that earthquake you remember the earthquake from the beginning it shook the hill well this time there wasn't a big castle in the middle so nothing fell down but what sometimes happens on a mountain when there's a big earthquake you've got some rocks up here and they start to rumble they can rumble rumble roll down the hill until the entire gummy village is covered in rocks. Now the village is covered with mud and nobody wants to live there. So some time passes and some new plants start growing and the plants grow and the plants die and some animals come through and they do some pooping and the gummy people come through and they sometimes leave a little bit of trash behind. So there's a few things happening on the ground but not very many. It's a nice calm quiet time. But nothing stays quiet here for very long. So one day the wind starts blowing. There's no clouds in the sky, but the wind starts blowing. What's here behind us? That's right, there's a big purple desert. And what happens to the sand in the purple desert when the wind blows and blows? It comes and it covers our field with purple sand. Some more time passes. And eventually the bear people forget about all the horrible things that have happened here and they come back doing some exploring. They look around and they say, hmm, there's a lot of sand here, but ooh, look over here, there's a very nice river. And they decide to build their village over here by the river. Well, the village gets to be very big and lots and lots of bears are living there. And when you have a big village with lots of bears who sometimes have accidents or get sick and die, you need to have a cemetery. So eventually, they came back to the sandy plain and decided to bury their bears who passed away under the sandy plain. Do you remember what the custom was with the bears when they buried their friends? They put stone markers on the graves to remember where they were. And eventually, so many bears buried in the cemetery that there were stones all over the area. Do you think that's the end of the troubles that the gummy people are going to have in this place? It's not. Remember this mountain over here? Do you think that was just a mountain? What kind of mountain is in a place that has earthquakes all the time? It was a volcano. And one day, the mountain started to shake. And the volcano erupted and all the lava came rolling down the hill and covered up the gummy cemetery with a thick layer of pink lava. Now all of the excitement that happened with the volcano erupting caused other things, like our river, to go a little crazy. 
And once again, the river flooded. And all that mud got washed up on top. But that wasn't the only thing that happened during this flood. All the water that rushed through during the flood did something else to the land. Do you know the word erosion? That rushing water caused some of the land that was on the bank of the river to wash away. And all that stuff washed, whoops, right downstream and left an interesting cut on the side of the bank. One day, our friend, the gummy archaeologist, came for a walk. And he said, oh my, look at this interesting bank. And he came down and he took a look at it. And he says, what is this? And from deep inside the bank, he pulled a scoop of dirt. Oops, here we go. Scoop of dirt that had some petrified poop in it. And he said, you know what? I think an ancient race of gummy bears used to live right here. We're going to do some archaeology. So under the supervision of our gummy archaeologist, they started an excavation. And an excavation is when you dig down and down and down. And eventually, Amanda's going to help me out with our excavation, the hole got so deep that it cut all the way down to the very bottom. Goodbye, dirt. And so our gummy archaeologist came all the way to the bottom of the hole they dug, and he looked at the wall they had created. This is what archaeologists call a profile, which means you can see everything from the top to the bottom and all of the different layers. Do you see the different layers? Layers of cake can be the same as layers of dirt. And so the archaeologist looked, and he said, I can learn things here. Why, do you see this? There seems to be the body of an ancient dead gummy bear here underneath a stone. Do you remember when that happened? And over here. Why, what is this in this layer of orange? I believe many animals used to live in this place. And if we study their poop, we can learn what kind of animals they were, and that means we can learn what kind of animals the gummy people a long, long time ago were keeping. And you and me, because we're students of archaeology, we can even tell you what this layer of blue cake is. Do you remember that from the beginning? That was the very first time there was a flood. How about these marshmallows in here? Was that the ancient castle that got knocked down in the very first earthquake? We also remember that there was a fire and there was a terrible sandstorm for the desert. Wait, the sandstorm was purple. There he is. And there was a lava flow from a big volcano. And every time something new happened, a new layer of earth came down and covered things up. So this is how archaeologists use stratigraphy, remember that word from the beginning, to learn a lot about history. Stratigraphy is a word that has two parts, strata and graphy. Strata means layers, like the layers of cake or the layers of earth. And graphy means writing. So the stratigraphy is kind of like history has written us a message to tell us what's happened a long, long time ago. And something very important to learn what was the very, very first thing that happened the longest time ago? It was the earthquake that knocked over this castle. Where is that? Is it at the top? The oldest things that happened the longest ago in the past are going to be farthest down to the bottom. So the deeper and deeper you dig, the older and older the things you find become. And that can help us learn the order in which things happen so that we can tell a story about the history of the gummy people or the real people. Thank you very much, Laura. That was a great lesson. I sure learned a lot, and I hope that you did too. Uh, we are really glad that you tuned into our video today on stratigraphy and archaeology. If you would like to know more about the history of Deadwood or archaeology, go ahead and check out our website, deadwoodhistory.com. Check us out on social media, on Facebook, on YouTube, 
and we do videos like this all the time. We've got several already on our social media and our website and our YouTube. So go ahead and check those out. Thank you again, Laura. Really appreciated you being here. Uh, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Bye.